Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. In this video today, I'm going to show you how you can get this awesome Pokemon Go hack working on iOS and Android uh, on, obviously, your iPhone. So as you can see, I have my iPhone here at the ready. I also have this Pokemon Go hack downloaded as well. So as you can see, if I just open it up right here, as you can see, I do have the Pokemon Go hack enabled. Um, I have all the modded settings, let me just show you here. So if I just go to settings, guys, um, as you can see, uh, stuff like spoofing, spoofing is on, obviously. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure 60 FPS is actually an uh, iPogo feature or not, but cooldown warnings off on, dark mode, joystick, um, let me just turn the joystick on. So as you can see, I have the joystick now, guys, which works, and I can move about the map. Now, let me just go, I can also teleport as well, which I may as well show you how to do. So if I just open the map right here, I can just teleport down here by long tapping and clicking teleport, <coughs> and just clicking OK. So as you can see, I've teleported almost instantly, guys, down here. Now let's get straight into the video, and I'll show you how you can get it on your device. So the first thing you want to do is go to settings on your device, and you want to go to general, background at refresh, and you want to make sure it's on Wi-Fi and mobile data like that. So once you've done this, guys, you can go back, and you just want to go down. Um, now, if you cannot click, sorry, if you cannot click on background at refresh, you want to go down to battery and make sure low power mode is off. Then you can go back to background app refresh and enable it. So the next step is going to Safari or Chrome on your device, and you want to go to the website tweakstore.me. So once you're at tweakstore.me, guys, simply search for Pokemon Go. And as you can see, it is right, right, right there. So just click download, guys, and what I'll do is start downloading Pokemon Go to your device. It shouldn't take too long, roughly about a minute or so. Um, just depends on how fast your Wi-Fi is. But as you can see, mine's going quick enough right here. Um, but also, please leave a like on this video, guys. Comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this in the future. It would be greatly appreciated, guys. But as you can see right here, it is almost complete. So let's just wait for that to happen. Okay guys, so as you can see it says install now, so we're just going to tap install, and I'll redirect you to this website right here. So it says hold up one step left, just continue guys. It's going to ask you to download some apps, I'm um, just going to look for some suitable ones for us to download right here. But once you get to the screen, just go ahead and download them. So the first one is called Free Prints, and it says download and install this app, then run for 30 seconds to complete this step. So we'll just click let's go and continue and once it's in the app store guys just click the download button and download it to your device so once this app does download um, to your device you just want to open it and follow the instructions so the instructions for me were to open it for 30 seconds so as you can see this one is taking quite a while for this one here to download which is fine let me go, I'm just going to go and check guys and see if I can make that faster. Okay guys, so yeah, that's going to take quite a while to download. So what I'm going to do is go back to Safari and I'll show you the next step. So once you have completed your first app, just go back to this page right here and click Next App. So the next app for me is called Zap and it says download and install this app, then run for 30 seconds to complete this step. So what you want to do is download the next app, guys, and do the exact same instructions, um, which is whatever it tells you to do. So the next one is actually the same as the first one for me. It just says to download and install and open the app for 30 seconds, which is completely fine. So once you've opened both apps for 30 seconds or followed the instructions, um, go back to your home screen and Pokemon Go will be installed, guys, and you will have this app right here. Um, as you can see, you can log in with your Apple ID, you can log in with your Ninatic Kids account or your Pokemon Trainer Club account, whatever you use to sign in usually. I believe Google is always is also an option. But yeah, guys, once you've done all that, you can get Pokemon Go on your device and you will have all of these cool features as well. So yeah guys, that is it for this video. If you did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.